Hi all, good afternoon. This is Saif here from Smitsi Technologies. Today I would be taking you through CCA 175 certification scenario 1 problem statement. CCA 175, CCA 175 is a very new round and hot in the market which is also known as Hadoop and Spark developer certification. Without wasting time, let's start with the first scenario implementation. This is the task which has been assigned to us and we will find the solution step by step for all the 10 problem statement given to us. First, let me check all my Hadoop demons are up and running or not. So I'll type GPS, which stands for Java Programming Services. All my Hadoop demons are up and running. So this is the terminal which I would be using to fire all my Hadoop commands. And this terminal I would be using for MySQL database. Let's start with the first problem statement. So the first statement says is connect MySQL database and check all tables from retail database. Now while attempting CCA 175 certification you would be given username, password, the database which you want to connect. All the relevant details would be provided to you. As I am using my local Ubuntu machine I would be using my credentials. So it would be MySQL hyphen U the username is root and the hyphen p is password and the password is again root so i would be using this so let me execute this it is asking for the password and the password is root i'm connected to my mysql database let's to move to the second statement show with query retail database connected now with the query i need to show i'm connected to the retail database so first of all what I would do is I would be using the retail database and after using the retail database I would be typing a small query that is select database let's try these two things okay so first of all see all the databases available these are the all the databases i would be using retail underscore db oh, spelling mistake i'm sorry so use retail underscore db so the database has been changed and the statement was show with the query so select database So I'm connected to my retail database. So the second problem statement is done. Let's move to the third one. Check existence of categories table. So we need to check whether categories table is available or not. View the count and metadata. Pretty simple select statements. So I, what is it existing? So I would be select star from categories. So let me copy this and fire this query. Copy this and paste this. So this table is available. It also told me to check the metadata and the count as well. So I would say so I would say the same query. So in spite of this, so I need to check my count also. So let me fire my count step count SQL. So I have 58 and it told us to describe the metadata so that would be 3c so describe and categories copy this and fire this so this is the metadata so we are good with the third problem statement let's move to the fourth one put categories table to hdfs without specifying directory name now we have checked the categories table is available in MySQL. So I'll just do a cross check whether in my Hadoop file system I do not have the categories directory available. Otherwise it will throw an error. HDFS, TFS, Ivan LS, user, save and let me hit enter. Okay, I cannot see anything. So let's write a scoop command to achieve the fourth problem statement. So scoop import. I would be connecting connect with the JDBC connection MySQL 
local host the port number and which database I would be connecting to my retail database the username would be root the password would be again root then I need to import the table with the name of categories so what the problem statement put categories table without specifying directory name so I'm not specifying any directory name let's copy this let's come over here and paste this internally when hit, once I hit enter it will invoke a map reduce program in your map reduce program it would be selecting the query selecting the date all the records then it would be doing the min and max then it there would be this is the min and max which I am talking about then the number of splits would be four so there will be number of four mappers so depending on the mappers your four part files would be created so map reduce has been invoked and completed let's go back the query which we executed earlier let's run this that's it hdfs dfs mls let me write this again hdfs dfs hyphen ls user set and let me execute this so can i see this categories so hdfs dfs hyphen ls and i think the next statement is the problem statement is that only view the data from the above category okay okay so we, we need to view the data so that's what we are trying to do viewing the data so in spite of viewing the data so let's let's list this first all the part files and from this part file i want to view the data for the first part file so categories part hyphen m hyphen four five zeros so this is the data you can also browse to the file system also so you can go to the browse file system user self categories and these are my four part table four part files and you can see the same data here also so we are done with the fifth problem statement let's move on to the sixth problem statement what it says is put categories table to hdfs specifying directory name this oh now it is asking us to specify okay so the fifth solution was a simple cat statement which we did so let me copy this let me come over here and write directly over so hdfs dfs hyphen cat user save categories part hyphen m and five zeros so we are done with the let's go with the sixth sixth statement you just need to specify the target directory name so what i would do i would copy the same statement and just need to specify the target directory target directory so what they told us the name should be categories underscore tgt let's copy this this is the scoop command let me go to the terminal let's clear my terminal and paste this it has imported oh, oh, I think it has not uh, correctly see the category table is already existing but the table underscore directory it did not so what I will do is I'll just see now it it is the reason for this is after tables under categories I have not put my backslash so let me correct that copy this let me clear my screen and run the scope import again so now target I can see my target directories hit the enter same thing will happen it would select the data categories table there will be min and maximum ID of category ID number of splits four. then it will invoke the map reduce now the directory name would be categories underscore TGT see the map reduce has invoked as we have specified the directory name as categories underscore TGT so let me go to again browse the file system let's go to user save 
and uh, categories underscore tgt the same thing over here so if you want to view so you'll just click on this and hit the data and if you want to view uh, on the terminal the same thing which you can do which we did last time that is hdfs dfs iphone ls user set categories categories underscore tgt let me list this then we'll do cat hd so this is the command to and the next statement would be that only problem statement view the data so let me write that seventh over here so to view the data i can copy this so i can copy this and uh, well, let's not copy let's write this hdfs dfs iphone cat i want to see the data from this this is and let's copy this and hit enter either you can see the data from the terminal or from the file system so this is the seventh solution now what does the eighth one says is put categories table to hdfs specifying warehouse directory so we need to specify the warehouse directory so i'll copy this so this is the eighth solution in spite of target directory i just need to specify warehouse directory and what is the warehouse directory name so warehouse directory name is this okay so let's copy this let's go to the terminal clear the screen and execute this and hit enter the same process will run again and let's wait for this map reduce to complete and then we'll just view the data that's this next problem statement that is view the data for the above category so that is the ninth thing so let it run at the back end so the map reduce has been completed so hd so hdfs dfs hyphen ls user safe and categories underscore tgt underscore it was warehouse i guess if i'm not yes so let's copy this control c hdfs dfs hyphen ls and paste this so let's view the data now hdfs dfs hyphen cat and control c and control v let me copy this so that i can paste the solution over there and this again it will show the same stuff and we are done with the ninth one and the last that is the tenth one what it says is provide all permissions to the all above created directories now if you'll see over here again let's go to browsing the file system user save and can you see categories categories directory so the permissions we don't have all the permissions even if you go to the file system we can say hdfs dfs hyphen ls user set and so there are we don't have all the permissions so we just need to provide all the permissions with the command hdfs dfs ch mode recursively all to the directories and within the subdirectories that is triple seven user set let me copy this so that i can paste the solution over there and let's hit enter this has successfully completed let's run the above command can you see now all the permissions have been granted so this is the tenth solution so this is how the problem statement would be given to you in your cca 175 certification you need to achieve it step by step thank you for watching this and stay tuned for further cca 175 scenarios and if you need cca 175 training what you can do is you can ping me on my whatsapp number and the rest can be discussed in detail if you like this video do share with your friends so that they can be benefited from this thank you for watching this and this is Seth signing from smith's technologies bye and take care